Hello everyone, welcome to Mini Orange. In this video, we are going to show you how to set up SSO for Google Workspace with Mini Orange. So let's start. Log in into Mini Orange using your Mini Orange admin credentials. First, we will configure Google Workspace in Mini Orange. After login, go to Apps tab. Click on Add Application button. In Choose Application Type, search for SAML and click on Create App button. Search for Google Apps in the search box and click on the app. Here you need to enter the SP Entity ID and ACS URL. You can find these values in the Mini Orange G Suite SAML document. You can find the document link in the video description. Now, go to Display Apps section. In this section, you can select which apps you want to show to the end user. Go to the Attribute Mapping section. You can add additional attributes using the Attribute Mapping section. Go to the Login Policy section and here you can add policy for your app. Go to the Advanced Settings section and select your primary identity provider and click on Save button. App is configured successfully. Log in to Google Admin Console and select Security tab from Admin Console. Go to Authentication and select Set up SSO with a third-party IDP option. Expand the third-party SSO profile option. Enable the Setup SSO with a third-party identity provider checkbox. Now you need to fill out the sign-in page URL, sign-out page URL, and the certificate. For these details go to Mini Orange dashboard. Against your application click on the Select and then Metadata option. If you have set up Mini Orange as IDP then go to show the metadata link of information required to set Mini Orange as IDP section. Alternatively, if you are using an external IDP, you should use the information required to authenticate via an external IDP section metadata. Now click on Download Certificate button under Mini Orange as IDP section. Copy the SAML login URL. Paste the SAML login URL under the Sign in Page URL field. Paste the SAML logout URL under the Sign out page URL field. Now click on Replace Certificate link. Select the certificate that you have downloaded from Mini Orange. Click on Save button. Let's test the SSO configuration. Go to your Google Workspace URL and click on Sign In button. Enter your Mini Orange email and click on Next. Now sign in with your Mini Orange credentials. You have successfully logged in into Google Workspace using Mini Orange credentials. Let's enable the Adaptive Authentication policy for Google Workspace. Go to the Adaptive Authentication section and click on Add Policy tab. Add a policy name for your Adaptive Authentication policy. Now enable the IP Restriction option from the IP Restriction Configuration section. Select the action you want to perform if the IP address is out of the range. Specify the IP address range for which you want the above setting to reflect. You can add more than one IP address range by clicking on the plus button. We provide IP ranges in three formats that is IPv4, IPv4 CIDR, and IPv6. Scroll to the end and click on Save. Go to the Policies tab. Click on Edit option for your Google App Policy. Enable Adaptive Authentication option. From Select Login Policy drop-down select the Adaptive Authentication Policy. Enable IP Restriction option. Click on Save button. Let's test IP Restriction with Google Workspace. You can see as my IP is not on the allowed IP list access will be denied. Click on Sign In button. Enter your Mini Orange email and click on Next. Sign in with your Mini Orange credentials. As you can see, the access is denied. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please drop us a query at info at